Hello, my name is Matthew Bott and I serve as the Chief Executive Officer for the Greater Issaquah Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the Chamber is a coalition of over 460 businesses, organizations, and individuals here in Issaquah who work to promote the community, represent business to government, support the local economy, and provide networking opportunities for the benefit of the entire community. We know that the challenges of today's economy mandate that we look at everything and try to do things different, smarter, and better to reach our goals. And we are so pleased that over 20 qualified businesses put forth their name to demonstrate their innovation right here in Issaquah. It was really exciting reading through all of the nominations, learning about the great success stories of our local businesses as they work to innovate within their industry. From large tech and healthcare corporations to small family owned businesses, we are extremely pleased to have such a diverse business climate here in Issaquah. This diversity can spawn innovation, creative thinking, and tangible business results. From the city's perspective, Strong businesses create strong communities. With local jobs, economic vitality, and diverse retail opportunities. This program is a great reflection of the dynamic and flourishing business community we have here in Issaquah. Virginia Mason was just recently named as one of the two top hospitals of the decade in the United States based upon the Leapfrog Group study. For the last 10 years, Virginia Mason has been very committed to looking at how they can provide the highest quality care at a reasonable cost, and we are very pleased to be announced one of the top hospitals in the United States. The Virginia Mason production system is an example of innovation at Virginia Mason. We apply this methodology because it is our number one goal to make sure we provide uh, high quality care at a reasonable cost. So Virginia Mason production system, or VMPS, is a way to be very efficient in how we provide care to our patients. As we provide care to our patients, we want to make sure that we always are 100% accurate. If anything is taking place that is not accurate, we stop the line immediately. That way it ensures highest quality of care. If for some reason we're not 100% accurate on a procedure or care that we provide, we're very transparent about that. We share that with our patients and their loved ones, and from that we build the patient experience back into that system to make sure the next time uh, it is 100% accurate as well. Virginia Mason Medical Center is so proud to be the sponsor of the Innovation of Issaquah program in partnership with the Issaquah Chamber of Commerce. So Applied Precision uh, designs and manufactures high-end microscopy type of instruments uh, for different applications throughout the world. But we're always on the bleeding edge and we utilize the, the infrastructure in the Seattle area really to, to get some of the best scientists and engineers to really push the forefronts of optical microscopy or optical imaging, um, especially for research and development. And it really has worked well. We, uh, we're growing anywhere from three to four times faster than our competitors and, and are truly providing products that are at the bleeding edge of, of uh, technology in our field. Some of our products, in partnership with our OEM partners like Becton Dickinson, uh, are directly related to scanning uh, 
pap smear slides, for example, and, and, and we assist in the diagnosis of uh, cervical cancer, uh, and then of course early detection is positive, so we help with that for thousands of patients every year. Um, but I think what's more important what we do is, is many of our products are at the forefront of research. And so what we're helping to do is determine the causes of cancer, how does HIV attack the cell, uh, various uh, problems in, in biological you know, uh, imaging or biological data that people have been researching for hundreds of years. And we're at the forefront of that research. We're going to help millions of people uh, in the next 100 years. We partner with people throughout the world. Uh, from a technology standpoint, we partner with camera manufacturers, both here in the U.S. and Germany, and also with illumination, uh, kind of leading edge illumination uh, companies. One of them would be a, a small company in Oregon that, that specializes in solid state illumination. So we'll partner with those people, leverage those core competencies, and integrate those into our products. We also partner with some pretty big customers to help figure out what applications to be, to be attacking in the marketplace. These customers like Beckton Dickinson, GE, um, Nanostring, a local biotech company. So we'll partner with some key OEM partners, and, and that helps us drive our technology in the right directions. We originally, the company was founded by three engineers, scientists. One of them is the current executive chairman, Ron Subert, and all of them lived in the area. Uh, what kept us here is that we, we have a great environment to draw from for some of the best sci you know, minds in science and technology. Uh, engineers, scientists, it's a great place to draw uh, uh, you know, uh, our employees from. Additionally, there is a life sciences industry here, so we partner with people like Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, University of Washington, so we have good customers locally. Uh, and so we've never even thought of moving. It's a great place to be. Democracy Live was founded in 2007 here in Issaquah, Washington. Uh, we've uh, become the leading electronic balloting company in the United States, providing electronic ballots and voting information to all voters around the world, uh, including voters with disabilities, voters who are overseas fighting in Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, the, the, the sacred ballot. And we've been able to do that in uh, close to 200 elections here in the last uh, couple of years. We truly want to continue being the leading electronic balloting company in the United States. But more than that is the voter information standard for the 200 million voters in the United States. Uh, we believe that by delivering uh, voter information and, and your balloting and your balloting information to a voter um, in a way that makes sense to them, that's informative for them, that could be somewhat entertaining for them, uh, you'll get more participation. And again, there's nothing, we don't, we believe that there's nothing more important than, you know, that sacred trust of, of the ballot and the balloting information. It's the engine of our, de of our democracy. And if we can do it in a way that makes sense for the voters, we'll get more participation, we'll get more informed voters, and in the end, we'll have a better democracy. I just wanted to point out the fact that here in, in Issaquah, you know, it's been a, a great for a, a brand, you know, for a, a, an early stage company like we were back in 2007, where we're able to come and, and the environment of Issaquah is a, is a tremendous asset because it's, it's sort of like this incubator type of um, uh, uh, city where, you know, smaller companies like ourselves can be listened to by the city of Issaquah. We can have the support and the encouragement by the Chamber of Commerce. We're still closely connected to a Bellevue or to a Seattle, but we have the outstanding surroundings and the most beautiful location. I travel, you know, every week somewhere in the United States. The most beautiful location in the United States to operate and, and to live in. These are hyperbaric oxygen chambers. They're used for delivering hyperbaric oxygen therapy to patients with a variety of conditions. This facility is a combination of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, chronic wound care, lymphedema, and infusion therapy for patients that need IV medications. We have patients with diabetic foot ulcers, patients who have non-healing wounds for a variety of reasons. They may have had a flap that didn't heal well. They may have had surgery or some other trauma that's not healing well. They may have had some radiation tissue damage. There are approximately 13 approved indications for hyperbarics and those are the patients that will be treating in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber. They create a pressurized environment and the inside of the chamber is pressurized using 100% oxygen. So the patient lays in the chamber and is able to breathe 100% oxygen under pressure. When we put it under pressure, it allows the tissues to absorb the oxygen at a much higher rate than they could just breathing it in a room with an oxygen mask. So at high levels of pressure, oxygen behaves like a drug at that point. We have taken a lot of things that are involved in wound care and hyperbaric medicine 
and put them together in one place. We have an infusion suite as well as chronic wound care and hyperbaric medicine. But also the most innovative part is that we have a formal research institute that is part of our organization that will allow us to do uh, human subject research on uh, standardized protocols. The choice of Issaquah was that there was lots of space. We have a very big clinic. We have over 8,000 square feet. We anticipate a lot of uh, patient um, movement in and out of the clinic. We needed parking. We needed transportation. We're located across from the um, transportation center. So space and the fact that the medical community in this area is growing along with the community. We anticipate that we'll have 15 to 20 centers opening in the western United States in the next five years. To all of our businesses here in Greater Issaquah, we urge you to continue with your outstanding innovation, your support for job creation, and your support for economic vitality within our community. Congratulations to all of the nominees and the award recipients for the 2011 Innovation in Issaquah program.